Okay, and still ahead, what does it take to build a multi-million dollar company? We'll look at a local success story when Urban Update returns. It was a dream born in a Harvard dorm room. Now, 13 years later, that dream is a multi-million dollar company. Founded by a Harvard graduate student, A. Quint specializes in helping professionals build their careers. In the first part of our look at the innovations of some local entrepreneurs, our Sarah Ting spoke with the founder, whose vision and philosophy has guided the company to success. I started the company in 1987 with, uh, with two other partners right out of our dorm room at Harvard College. Back in the dorm days, uh, our first year we had sales of 57,000. Today, revenues are well over 200 million. And Equent is, is always in the middle of talented companies in four areas, contacts, capital, community, and corporations. And what's interesting, I think... John Chuan is the CEO of a company that started out with three employees and now has 380 in 60 offices worldwide. Within the last year, they've placed 12,000 professionals around the world. The rise of Aquin is the story of a young man's determination and vision to create the world's largest talent agent in the area of creative, web, and tech professionals. The roots of the word Aquin means not a follower. This is how we get rid of tension and stress during the day. Hopefully how we don't injure plants and other objects in the path of the... Oh, yeah. When you walk into the company, you're immediately struck by the decor. We had the opportunity to shape the space completely from scratch, and we wanted a space that was very open and collaborative to encourage communication amongst all of our employees. We also wanted the space to be very non-traditional, so we used very different sort of materials uh, that aren't used traditionally in office building. Uh, plus, we picked colors like orange and yellow and green uh, that were just very energetic and, and very bright. Since the inception of the company, John has always followed a simple philosophy that has encouraged growth and change. A great philosophy we have in this company uh, is fail often, fail quickly, and fail cheaply. <laughs> um, and if we do that, then we know uh, we're being successful. So we've tried many things um, throughout the course of our 13-year history. But the key is to quickly uh, cut off the things that don't work and take the things that really work and invest a lot in them and make them grow. This philosophy has guided the company throughout the 13 years. In the dorm days, the first contract they received was to print the Harvest News using desktop publishing. They printed it for free. This over here showed how they did it in the old days before computers. They did everything by hand. They pasted all the uh, typeset on. They used uh, X-Acto knives and wax guns and really old manual ways to put together a newspaper. And we said, hey, don't do it the old way. Uh, do it the new way using computers and desktop publishing. Um, While they were successful in printing the issue, there was one slight error. And it was their 50th anniversary issue, and we had accidentally spelled anniversary wrong. <laughs> but uh, somehow they forgave us, and they gave us a contract, uh, and a contract to produce every issue. And that really launched our business because it gave us steady income um, and steady business. From a typesetting business, they transformed to a temp agency, MacTemp. From MacTemp to Aquin, placing independent professionals with clients ranging from Fortune 500 companies to small businesses. I like to describe ourselves as, as a company that's helping change the way careers are being had. Uh, we are kind of a cross between a Hollywood talent agency um, and a temp agency. Um, and we're really working on new ways to work. Um, and the way our company works is that people work instead of at a normal employer at a, temp, at a talent agency. And when we send people out on different assignments uh, to help them enhance their career. Starting a company from nothing is a daunting challenge. Some entrepreneurs receive guidance from a mentor. John took a different course of action. I didn't really have a, a particular uh, mentor, but my parents have always uh, encouraged me to really be anything that I can be. So how many, um, how many people do you think we have lined up potentially? And to this day, I, I sort of resist even having a mentor because I, I completely believe that, um, that I know where I want to go and I, I don't even like the concept of following someone else's ideas. Uh, 
I kind of believe in the concept of charting one's own path. John, every entrepreneur has to deal with the issue of financial stress. How did you deal with that when the bills were coming in? Yeah, yeah, no, I remember those days. Uh, I think the most important that, that we, thing that we did for financial stress is that it really focused us on, on getting a lot more capital and, and really making sure that we understood our, our, our P&L and our financial numbers. So it drove us to work harder. Um, as well as make sure that we raise enough money such that it would be a buffer against good times or bad times. Right now they are rolling in good times. The company is in four continents and in countries as far away as Australia and Japan. Betsy Swan helps recruit people for Aquin. In my group for web, we're looking for people that have at least a year's experience in the web industry and at least two to three professional websites that they've worked on. And on top of those tangible, measurable skills, we're looking for somebody who's got a great attitude, who's enthusiastic, passionate about the web. For Ketsuda Mukurantara, Aquant has made a dramatic change in her career. When I was working at my last company, I really wanted to get into web development. And coming to Aquant and going through their training program has really given me a chance to do that. Kitsuda is now working at Standard & Poor's published image in downtown Boston as a program analyst. As the visionary behind Aquin, John has this advice. Uh, I think it's very important to, for a person to understand what they want to um, achieve and be very single-minded and focused on, on, on achieving that. Sarah Ting for Urban Update. And when we come back, this internet company is helping parents and their pediatricians. Find out how right after the break.